What's going on YouTube? It's your boy back at it again with another video for your head top and guess what I got? Guess what I got today? I got myself a mystery box. Look at it. Look at it. Yes, we got ourselves a mystery box today and it's from Soul Steels and I'm happy to bring one to y'all. It's been a while. So let's go in, grab this bad boy and get this box started and yeah, yeah it's kind of heavy so we gonna get it. Alright, so let's go. Bless you, bless you, bless you. What's going on guys? I hope y'all enjoyed that little intro. I had to get a little funny. Needless to say, we about to get into this sneaker box. Like I said earlier, it's from Soul Steels. I've been waiting for a box from them forever. I don't want to take too long on this intro, but you know, I tried to I tried right before the whatever it is happening now. I tried right before that to try to get in and get a box, but it didn't work out. Finally able to get a box from them. I'm excited. I've seen some videos from other people who've opened Soul Steel boxes and they don't disappoint. So I'm hoping it doesn't disappoint. So let's get into this box. Sound like a toaster oven or something. Anyway. What? So like I usually do, I try not to look in a box. I let y'all peep the box first. This box is a little bit heavy, but I'm gonna try to do it anyways. And I'll let y'all see what's in here. I'm not gonna look in. But yo, that that sound really has me wondering if there's a toaster oven in here. It's like a metal lunch box. It's like a lunch box. It's like whatever. So I'm let y'all take a little peek inside. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm actually looking at the TV, but so let y'all see what's in here. Now it's my turn. Okay, let's get let's get some heat. So this toaster box has been Hi. Right. So <laughs> sorry, um yeah, just a little throwing off. I forgot to tell y'all how much this box cost me. This box cost me $8.50, $40 to ship, so $8.90. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Like, I see some stuff. I'm kind of excited. So, so, I don't know where to start. Let's start with this one. Got a sales. Looks like a Kyrie box. Kyrie. Uh, which one is it? Size 11. Kyrie 4 CT. So, these are the wheats. These are dead stock too. They're like the Kyrie wheats. I believe it's the wheats. But dead stock Kyrie size 11. I had Kyrie's. Um, I used to play ball. I haven't played in a while. But when I used to play ball back then, and it was a really sturdy shoe. So these are dead stock. Yeah. So yeah, Kyrie wheats. Stop the cap. If there are the weeds, if it's not, I'll put the right name of it somewhere around here. But Kyrie, fours. Are we about to jump into the next one? Do I want to play ball again? I might want to keep these. Nah, 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 nah. All right, second shoe out the box. Pulling out A6. Size 11 also. Do they know my size? Size 11 also. It's, uh, it's a gel quantum infinity. That's what they call it. Also another dead stock. This looks comfortable as a the gel underneath here. Yo, why y'all sending me my size? I'm supposed to be selling these shoes, not keeping them. But we got an A6 black on orange. Look at the bottom, yo. The bottom is like smushy. I gotta see how much I can sell this for. I've never had an A6 before, but I I, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, before I end up keeping this. There we go, the A6, size 11. I am loving this box so far, and there's only two shoes in. All right, third shoe, pulling out. Nike box, nine and a half. Air Max pennies. If it's a pennies, sorry, but yeah, it's the pennies. Now, I had a pair of these. These are also dead stuff. Okay, so steals. Okay, I, I think I might be shopping with y'all full time. But anyways, I had a pair of these. Uh, I think in a box back, it was like the pinstripe pennies, the blue and white one. I don't know if y'all remember it. This is an all white penny, really clean, dead stock. I don't have any cleaning to do so far, but yeah, I'm cool with it. 
if you are interested in any of these sneakers, I'm going to be putting them up on my website. Or you can hit me up on Instagram um, if you're interested in any of these sneakers. If not, I'm probably put them GOAT or StockX, see if I can get them sold. Try to get them flipped quickly, invest in another box, and you know, bring it to the channel. So, three boxes down, we got four more to go, including this toaster oven looking one. I'm gonna keep that for last, because I don't know what it is, and I'm hella interested to see what it is. So, we gonna pick up another Nike box. Karachi? Can't. It's dead stock. Also, no wear at the bottom. It's a funky color. Also, I had a pair of Hirachis, all red one though, when I used to work for this company. But and used to let us wear red sneakers. But yeah, I, 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 I don't know if I can say I like it. But if someone likes it, you know, to each his own. I'm gonna post it up on the website or, like I said, I'm selling on StockX. But let y'all see the pricing. And yeah. Fort Chew down. Got a lot of red boxes in here. Another Nike box. It's a Cortez basic nine and a half. This one is. I thought it was supposed to be Beta Box, but this might be. No, this is. I can't tell if it's used or not. It does look brand new also. May have been tried on. I, I don't know. The underneath is white, so it's clean. Um, it does have a little bit of toe box creasing, but that could just be how the shoe comes. Blue and white Nike Cortez. Hey, can't go wrong with it. I've seen a mix of sneakers so far. Some I like, well, I like all of them, but it it's it's a mix of sneakers we have to have some kind of heat in this box because they usually leave like the best sneakers for last um buried at the bottom so let's see what we got in here all right so i have wow okay so we have a 10.5 these are the nike adapt bbs i've seen these around never really had one I don't know how to open this box. So these are the self-lacing Nike Let's stop. Yo. These are dead stock. Plastic's still intact on the sides. I don't know if you really see it, but the plastic's still there. No one took it off. Plastic's still on the back. They have the shoe trees in them still. Funky looking shoe trees. Um these are dead stock Nike Adapt BBs, self-lacing sneakers. Basically, um, what it does, don't fall. If you don't know much about them, what you have right here is a little plate. This is a charging plate. You actually put it on the charging plate for it to charge up. Um, and then when you're ready to take them out, put your foot in there. I believe you either hit a button on here, on the side, because these are the buttons over here, right here where my fingers are. So you either hit a button on the side and it laces up. I'm not sure if there's an app you can use also. I, I could be wrong, but I believe there's an app also that you can use once you put them in. Once you put your foot in there, it laces up and tightens up so you can go running, play ball, whatever you want to do with these. But yeah, never seen them before, so kind of interesting to see them. Lastly, these shoes that I've I, when I picked up the box, I thought it was a toaster oven in here. So we have ourselves a Nike Jordan 1 box. It's an older box, so this definitely is used. I don't know too I don't know too much about this box, but I'm excited. So alright, so let's open this up and see what we got in here. I, I'm excited. Let's 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 go. Box is a little bit destroyed, a little bit, but ah, let, let's see, let's see. So it says shoe palace. I I don't want to give it away too much, but these are dead stock. These are the Jordan One SP Gina. 
they came out I want to say if not last year I think they came out the year before last year like like two year two year yeah whatever two years ago um these I don't know if they were sold in stores or if it was at shoe palace only these are dead stock uh, lace bags are still attached to them so they haven't been worn I'm kind of surprised like none of these sneakers have been worn so hey less for me to clean um but I know it was I, I can't remember what the actual collab was about to be honest with you still got the soul play or shoe play shoe palace sorry still have the shoe palace uh, thing right here has to go on to the shoe but I can't remember what was the significance of the the um the collab but these were hard to get they actually came and went really quick so hopefully there's some good resale value on this um, in the box it does have the Jordan 1 old school card and then Gina Soul Place Soul Palace whatever SP Gina's flight school so the person who helped with the making of the shoe or who it was the collab with with the making of the shoe even if you look at the tissue paper you see like her hold on you can see you can see it's like her today junior this was a collab with her i just can't remember the significance of the um the collab to be honest with you like i said it's been about two years since this shoe came out so yeah but again dead stock ah the box is a mess though i ain't gonna lie like if i have to sell this i'm gonna have to sell it even though the box is messed up but now i know what that toaster oven sound was like i said i was i was i didn't know what to think it was my first box was soul steals I'm, I'm i'm happy with it but let me just say this though i'm not plugging them in no way shape or form this is not one of those websites you can just go buy the box on um you have to have a membership so i had to pay 20 dollars. it's a monthly membership but with how everything pans out i think it pays for itself all in all i think it was a pretty solid box everything was dead stock some of this stuff is going to be a little bit harder to move the nike adapts might be a little bit of a hard mover as much as i'm excited and it's the first time seeing it in hand it'll move it's dead stock so it makes it easier to move i mean shoot everything here is dead stock so it makes it easier to move it's just how fast that somebody's actually going to put out the money and buy it you know what i'm saying i'm definitely not mad at what i had here I am ex I'm pretty much looking forward to my next box that I do with them. I tried to order one this week, but I don't think they had any this week, so I might not have a beater box for next week. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these sneakers, oh shit. go ahead and check out my website. I should have everything up by 6 p.m. I just got to take some pictures to make sure everything's priced properly. Uh, go ahead and hit up my Instagram, DM me, let me know if you guys are interested. I'll be looking forward to bringing y'all another beater box, bringing you that heat for your feet and with that we are